McAnulty. I'll call Erica Stanford. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm really pleased to take a call on the Electoral Integrity Amendment Bill, specifically uh, the supplementary order paper in the name of Nick Smith uh, around in the definition of integrity. Um, because, Madam Chair, this bill calls into question my integrity. And this uh, supplementary order paper is vital for me to be able to maintain my integrity. Right. Because I went to the last election and I promised the people of the East Coast Bay something. I promised them that I would stand up for the things they believed in. I promised them that I would have their best interests at heart. I promised them that I would put their concerns above all else. I put my integrity on the line. 23, well, nearly 23,000 people, good people of the East Coast Bay, put their trust in me. They put their faith in me to re represent their concerns, to do what I promised I would do. I put my integrity on the line and this bill takes it away. Without this uh, supplementary order paper, without this amendment, my integrity is called into question. Uh, could the member actually confine herself to the discussion on the definition? Absolutely, Madam Chair. Thank you for your, Thank your you. guidance. The, the supplementary order paper specifically says, working in such a way that the decisions reflect the democratic will of the people. Now, without this, without this, my integrity is called into question because I promised those people of the East Coast Bays that I would stand up for the matters that were important to them, like the Okura Marine Reserve, like charter schools, like getting rid of our police station that I stood up for. I promised them that I would put those things before everything else. I promised them that I would put their, uh, their concerns above all else. This supplementary order paper affords me that, working in such a way that the decisions reflect the democratic will of the people. The democratic will of the people was to put their faith in me to put their concerns above all else. Not to listen to my party leader when it comes to their concerns, not to put the party above all else, but to put them above all else. And that is why this amendment is so important. We have to define this. I have to be able, because this is a retrospective bill, let's, let's not forget. I went to the people, I promised them at the election that I would put their concerns above all else. I promised them that I would do that. This bill undoes all that because it's retrospective. But this particular amendment allows me to fulfil my promise, to put their concerns above all else. That is what I went to the election to do. That is what I promised to do. I put my integrity on the line. This bill strips away that integrity. Without this amendment, it's gone. The very understanding they had, all 23,000 of them, when they elect, elected me, because that was the promise that I made to them, that I would put their concerns above all else, is removed by this bill, which is why we need this SOP. It, it's the abhorrent retrospective nature of this bill stops me fulfilling that promise to stand up for them. It turns me into a party robot. It takes away my integrity to blindly follow that party line regardless of what my electorate want. And it doesn't happen all the time. Let's remember, Madam Chair, those things that I might stand up for against my party wishes that are important to my electorate, important to my integrity, they don't come about that often. But when they do come about, I want to be able to stand up for them. I just want to speak in my last minute directly to the people of the East Coast Bays, because I think it's really important that they understand what we're doing here and why this, this amendment is so important. As I mentioned, I took to them that promise that I would stand up for them, and I will always stand by that. This SOP makes it clear that I will work in such a way that reflects the will of the people, of the people of the East Coast Bays. And the reason that this is so important is because this whole bill is happening for two reasons. One, we know Winston Peters is paranoid, and for good reason, because he can't hold together his party. And also, uh, the Greens, because they're going against everything they said that they would always do. When it comes to the definition of integrity, Madam Chair, maybe the Greens should reclaim different C words. Core values, core principles and core beliefs. Because when it comes to integrity, those are the important C words that they seem to have forgotten, Madam Chair. And I just want to finish by saying to the people of the East Coast Bays that I will always put their concerns and their worries above all else because that is what I promised to do before the election. 
That is what I've continued to promise to do, because that is what I stood up for. That is my integrity, and this supplementary order paper is so important to be able to keep that. I call the Honourable Andrew Little. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I just wanted to make some brief replies to some of the comments that have been made in the last year.